Hey. How are you? Pretty good. How are you doing? I'm doing great. It's good to see you. Good to see you. I don't think yeah. I've ever I don't think I've ever seen you without your hat before. That's <laughs> it's, it's in a truck. Okay. All right. That's awesome. Yeah. Some people, some artists, they just they become synonymous with the uh with the gear, with the hat, and uh, then you get the first time you see them without it, it's like, oh, well, hold on, what, what's going on here? Yeah, man, I keep mine up in a top knot, and then I let this down, and then they're all like, Jesus Christ! <laughs> I love it. Uh, you, you're bit you're a bit busy in Michigan this year. You just played Grand Rapids in Detroit. You're coming back for Faster Horses later on this summer. Yeah, man, we're excited to come back to that festival, man. It's been a while. Uh, two two years, two years. But, I think it's been a couple of years. Yeah. Yeah. So um, that was one of my more favorite festivals I've ever played. I have a recording of a song because we multi-track everything um, uh, out of front of house. There's a recording of a song that we cut um, uh, this past year that's coming out soon. Um, that is just the crowd. It was the next from Nashville stage uh, there. And O'Connell is great. I love O'Connell. He's awesome. Yeah. Uh, the crowd in that under that tent was one of the most i won't say welcoming but it, um enthusiastic and they were welcoming is just not the proper word i wanted to use um the energy feeding off of them was was really really awesome and that festival is really awesome um we're very excited to be coming back to it that's awesome. Yeah. I would like to think maybe it's a lot of the Canadians going over there to uh to spend spend time. Have you been have you been to Canada before? Absolutely. Absolutely. What, what are your thoughts? What are your what are your uh, your thoughts about Canada? Great White North. I like, I like it a lot. Um I remember the first time there was there was about four inches of snow on the ground and it was um it was my first time out of country, period. I had I had gone across to, uh to Niagara on a fishing trip once. Um we were up there on Lake Erie and uh, going smallmouth. The walleye and mm -hmm. uh, scooted over there, but the the Canada has been that was the first time I had been I've been out of country, um, but we yeah man it was it was a good time they were very very accepting and um, it, it was a very big experience for me uh, the, the first time just going around meeting everybody and um, just being like oh. This is how you do it across the border. You know? <laughs> Canada's let's just Canada's just one big fishing and hunting trip, really, for for Americans who come on up here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> um, so yeah, you're going to be playing Boots and Hearts, um, uh, in August as well, and you're opening up for Matchbox Twenty that night. That's going to be kind of odd. Open up for Matchbox Twenty. It's probably right up your alley, though, right? With your kind of your rock influences. Yeah, man. I mean, we. Uh... There's a lot of different vibes that come into this. I think uh, Need to Breathe is going to be on that show as well. Yes. Uh, so Need Need to Breathe uh, was was huge influence on. I admire them a lot. Um, Bear is a real deal powerhouse singer. They're a great band. They have great vibes and like there's similarities between those guys and my man. Um, but I've always admired him as a as a vocalist and just like. Absolutely, you get to open up, up open up a show for Matchbox Twenty. Like any any time you get to open a show for Legends, is is absolutely awesome. Um, you, with your rock, with the rock influences that come into your music, I mean, you you could have decided instead of going the country route to be a straight on rock guy, and I'm pretty sure you'd be just as successful doing that. Um, do you ever think, or have you thought about doing what Hardy's doing and having this kind of this dual rock and country career at the same time? Um, it's, I think nowadays the lines, uh, the lines, uh, got water over them, you know, yeah. um, everybody's flowing and flowing over the road, you know, um, I really like what he's doing. Um, I, I do, um, that's, that's more of the metal or side of things. Yes. Uh, we're more of the audio slave and classic or rock kind of situation. Agreed. Yeah. That's, that's, that's what, that's what I love about yeah. it. There's a, even when you we were talking about multi-tracks coming back and whatnot, you know, what I try to emulate live is the spirit of live American rock music. Um, it's live action. The way that it sounds coming back straight to the board and out of the speakers, you know, um and that's the that's how i feel about 
me and my man when we get up there and do what we do um it's we're a guitar band you know it's just it's classic american rock you know? yeah but it's just i'm the tw i bring the twang you know if you want to even call it twang that's i bring i bring the country country soul country soul yeah, no, we're loving it. We're, we're the first station, uh, Windsor's Country was the first station in Canada to add Don't Come Looking when it first came out about a month before everybody else. And we were the first ones to start playing Fearless. So, you know, we love you here for sure. And I thank you for it. Um, the new song, Fearless, is that based on a true relationship? Is that based on an actual thing? So the way so the way Fearless came about, about um, we were about a week and a half away from cutting the first half of Greenbro because it was done in two parts. So me it was me john sherwood and luke dick um so me and john rolled over to luke's house we heard he had the hi-hats and their little drum program underneath it just getting it going um and the i think he had the verse vibe picked out which was the dun -dun 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 -dun. and we heard the track coming around the side of the house and we walked in and he just goes i got one word and that's it and it's fearless and it we shook it out in about an hour and a half um but no that was just like that was a classic three dudes putting your mind together say some dope things and and uh make it mean something you know um, yeah and over i was it's hard it's it's funny to talk about this stuff like sometimes you write a song and then you don't know why you wrote it not that you don't know why you wrote it, but it doesn't make sense on why you wrote it until later. And then you look back at it and you go, ah, okay. You know, it's just. Like in terms of where the inspiration came from? No, in term in terms of what it means to you. Um, uh, right. I feel, I feel like, people, I feel like we get stuck trying to, I like to, I like songs that are put a picture in your head to make it look like what you need it to look like in your head, to make it mm -hmm. mean what it, needs to, what it needs to mean to you. Cause it's going to look different to everybody in everybody's head, you know? Um, yeah. I, I like to open for interpretation, but like, that's all just about loving somebody, man. Um, fiercely. I love it. Well, we're loving it. We're loving it so much. And it's almost in the top 10 on the U S chart. And, um, you know, it's uh, it's been fun to watch it rise again and uh, and watch everything continue to to climb for you. You you uh, don't come looking with such an autobiographical song for you and with such a great introduction to people as to what you're all about. And and uh, I just got to ask, because I'm a lot like that and that I need my alone time. Sometimes I need my my private time. Is it hard to be in the spotlight these days with all the success and having every, you know, people always want to interview and cameras on you when that doesn't come first nature to you? Um, in the beginning, it was tough when it was crazy, you know, um, now I I always liked it. Um, was it a lot? Yeah, it was a lot. Um, <laughs> especially but, when it comes all at once like that. Yeah. And it was, it, and it was constant. Yeah. I just, you know, um, but it gets easier, you know, um, at the beginning, <laughs> at the beginning, I had a really hard time carrying a conversation with somebody, um, and over radio tour and just all of that is, it helps a lot, you know, um, it is, it is hard cause you'll go and 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 go and, go. and then, you have a very short amount of time to yourself while you're hurrying, hurrying up and waiting. And yeah. then you got yeah, to, you know, um, but it does make the moments that you do get feel, you feel those moments more. Um, the emotions that you get to have are amplified. Uh, yeah. And that piece, you know, I was like that in high school. I was like, uh, I was nobody. People are shocked to find out that I went on to have like this long career in radio because I didn't say a word in high school. Like I was the quietest kid. And then the more you talk, the more you do it and the, the easier it, it comes. Yeah. I'm, I'm incredible. I'm incredibly grateful for that. Like that I can, you know, it's not that I didn't have nothing to say. I just didn't really have, it, it, it just didn't have much to say. You know. But, but, <laughs> I love that. 
being being here being here uh has changed that and opened me up quite a bit you know yeah which i don't know if that would have happened otherwise Jackson, we are so excited to to have you coming back uh, to the area, coming back for Faster Horses. We can't get enough of you. Uh, excited to see you up at Boots and Hearts as well. We'll have some tickets to give away for both of those uh, those big festivals. And uh, good luck on the tour with Lainey Wilson. I'm jealous. I hope she's as awesome as she seems uh, in everything that I ever see her in. Oh, yeah. No, she she's a real one, man. We're, we're very pumped for that tour. Uh, it's funny, man. Her guitar player and her drummer were in a band that were from about 30 minutes away from me in maryland growing up and oh wow they were one of my first paid gigs um they i was like 16 17 somewhere in there and uh and now we're going on tour with them and i'm about to go meet them in australia in about 20 some days um and do the first couple arena shows with them and um no us with laney to me just makes a lot of sense um she she's the real deal and she's live action and i i love her um they are working her like a dog and <laughs> she, she is, but she you know i see i see a in her i see a piece of my not that i see myself in her but like the same in terms of like let's go to work yeah know? same work ethic yeah yeah, yeah she, she wants it you know um, that's good well hopefully you can you know you can keep rising to the same level that 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 she's at because if you're that hard of working you got an entertainment of the year coming your way at some point in the future <laughs> my god that'd be i don't even i don't even know what i do <laughs> <laughs> well you make sure you let us know how you're feeling when it happens okay buddy yes sir yes sir Good to see you, Jackson. Take care and all the best. Good to see you too, man. I'll see you soon.